Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be going over a very fun overclock. This is Cycle Overload for the Warthog Auto Shotgun. This is probably my favorite Warthog Auto Shotgun overclock. It is very strong, but it's super fun and that's why I enjoy it so much. So Cycle Overload is an unstable overclock. This significantly gives us a much higher rate of fire as well as it gives us greater damage per shot, which is really nice with the shotgun. However, it increases our base spread. This is by 50%, so you are less accurate at longer ranges and you also have a slightly longer reload time. Reload time doesn't really matter if you abuse the reload canceling animation that you can do with the Warthog, so that's less of a downside. The way I have it built and the way I usually build this particular overclock is like this. So in tier one, we're going with a faster rate of fire. However, this isn't necessary. I just really like having the highest rate of fire with this one. It's super fun. You could go with the larger mag size. That one's really good too. Tier two, all of these options are really good. I usually go with ammo because this one can chew through ammo pretty fast. But if you want to take this on like an elimination mission, then more pellets can be really good. Or if you find that you need some amount of range and the choke is okay. Honestly, I wouldn't really recommend the choke that much. I'd recommend ammo or pellets over this one. And tier three, again, this is your choice. Take whatever you'd like. I usually like going with the uh, increased magazine size here. Recoil reduction can be pretty good on this one because this can kick around quite a bit. Reload speed's also a nice one if you want to take that. Tier four, I like going with more damage. Armor breaking's okay, but honestly, more damage usually gets you more value with the War Dog. And then in tier five, turret whip is a better option than minor adjustments, even for this overclock. However, minor adjustments is a lot more fun, so that's why I take it here. <laughs> so this is full rate of fire, max damage at very close range. You want to get right up in something's face and just empty this into it or right into the weak spot and just empty it. Now there's quite a few options to take as a secondary. Longer range would be a good option. I'm actually not going to be taking that. I'm going to be taking the breach cutter with lightweight cases. This is probably one of the best overclocks for the breach cutter just because you get more ammo for it. The build here, you can kind of build it however the heck you would like. If you want other options for the breach cutter, we do have quite a few. Inferno is a good choice as it just gives you fire on top of your already existing damage. I wouldn't recommend taking this for a Dreadnought mission since you can't light them on fire. You could also go with something like Return to Sender, get yourself a lot of DPS on large targets. If you're looking for long range and you really like the grenade launcher, I would recommend Hyper Propellant. This can chew through ammo pretty quick, but it absolutely destroys anything that it hits. And this way you have really high damage at close range and really high damage at long range. Aside from that, you could always go with something like RG250, get yourself some extra move speed, still have okay crowd control against grunt waves and swarmer waves, or you could go with the other ammo options like compact rounds or pack rat. Those are all nice quality of life overclocks too if you want to take them. Then if you're looking for something with the shard diffractor, I'd recommend efficiency tweaks. This just gets you extra ammo, makes it so you have a long range option. It's pretty effective against everything at every range. If you want some more damage, you could always throw overdrive booster on this. Get tons of damage even at very long range. You don't actually have to switch on overdrive booster. So that's another plus to this one. Or you could go with something like volatile impact reactor or something like feedback loop if you feel like you want to have some more um, crowd damage at a distance. I'm going to be taking this on a salvage mission on Has5. I hope you guys enjoy. Push the reload, wait for the ammo to change at the bottom, and then once that has changed, you just pickaxe. You can immediately release your pickaxe too, and that will pickaxe cancel your reload, so then your gun will be slightly faster reload. And something like the Warthog does reload quite a bit faster uh, if you do this than the full animation. I'm not sure by how much. I guess I could time it and see. Yeah, because that's the full animation. That's probably about twice as fast. I don't know. We'll run that side by side and see how much that actually saves you. It can save you a decent amount of time on other um, weapons as well. With the M1000, it saves quite a bit of time. The Loki, it saves a decent amount of time. Auto cannon, it actually saves quite a bit. It's just that the auto cannon's reload cancel is really slow. So... It doesn't feel as impactful. Yeah. Both our mini meals are right next to one another. That's a little bit unusual. And they're also right next to the drop pod. Meteor inbound, it looks like. Or sounds like. Oh, yeah. Toss that out over there. Gonna get some turret value. <laughs> That's right. Grabbers will try to grab, uh, those. It's been a little while since I used lures. Oh, detonator too. Cool. I should probably actually lure this away. Yeah. 
Eliminator dealt with. Okay. <laughs> now I need to get over here where it's relatively safe to actually. Please. No! I mean, you killed him. Good job, Bosco. But I wanted to steal you. Hey, I can get a resupply in too. Cool. I need that. Um, as I said at the start of this, this can't chew through ammo. It does chew through the bugs really fast, though, too. So you you can kind of make up for it by just doing missions quick. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing built and see how well this works. It should work pretty well because it looks like everything kind of has to be funneled into us, and we have. Really good weapons for close range. I don't know if they'll be coming down from there. I plugged up this hole. I just kind of made a wall of pancakes over here. Ow! And <laughs> I do got my turret set up. Okay. That. And I. Okay, there's been nothing on this other side. Never mind, now there is. I still haven't gotten Steve. I'll probably get one of those. They just keep showing up there. Let's go and the turrets keep killing them. I won't even need to fight them that much. Oh, there's an acid spitter. Oh, he's got a head glitch spot. Alright. Oh, dang it. That could have been a Steve. <laughs> now I'm sad. Hey, there's another detonator. What the heck? Alright. Oh, it's kind of a bit of stuff. I don't want to get a Steve right now, though. That Nader will just kill him. No, oh, I killed a loot bug, too. Oh, wow. Alright, take him out, Bosco, and turrets. <laughs> of course that landed in the other detonator hole. Actually, that's not too bad. This place is nice and open, so... Yeah, we'll just... Use it to clear up this wall over here. Hopefully that doesn't make it even deeper. It might have a... <laughs> nope! <laughs> it just left a second crater next to it. I guess I just plug up that hole up there. Yeah, there's not really anything else I can put platforms on. All right, put this one here, and I'll put this one here. Oh, time to set up turrets. All right. Yeah, I probably want to get rid of that oppressor. He's gonna give me some issues. I can at least build this up until he gets here. Let Bosco shoot him in the back. Alright. You can't just melt him with this. There we go. Does kill oppressors really fast if you can get it right next to him. That also can kill uh, dreadnoughts really quick too if you can do the same thing. Alright, reload these. Okay, cool, I'm still technically in this. Uh, I don't know, throw that over there, I guess. <laughs> this is really awkward to fight in two different craters. Oh, thank you, turrets. Yeah, take them out. Especially take those ones out. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> it's technically outside of it. Just want to reload my guns, that's all. Could have gotten the Steve there, but my turrets killed him too quick. I guess it's no Steve for me today. Uh oh, why do I have the platform gun out? I wanted the yeah, I wanted the breach gunner out. No, it's Steve. Steve, dang it, that's the wrong Steve. <laughs> All right. Well. At least I have a Steve, I guess. Hang in there, Steve, best you can. Alright, take care of that. Did I need to shoot that thing four times? Probably not. That was a bit overkill, but... No kill like overkill, right? grab this because I feel like I'm running out of ammo. <laughs> Thank you, Persistent Plasma. Or Plasma Trail. Whatever you're called. Alright, 20 more seconds. Setting this up, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, take them out, turrets. Get them, lures. <laughs> I guess. Okay, let's go. Well, that wasn't bad at all, and. Uh, yeah, those overclocks are super fun to use. Actually, not as many kills as I thought, but it, we didn't get like any swarmers. We didn't get any jellyfish. That was all just big bugs, I guess. So I guess it should be lower then.